Hi, Internet. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is where I talk about whatever I want. Sometimes it's boring. Sometimes it's not. So if you're going to subscribe, just subscribe for the vibes. Um, this video was not edited. When I shoot, I shoot raw. So you, you either get the vibe or you don't get the vibe. But if you are going to stay, please just like the video if you actually like it. Today, I'm going to share my opinion on this Nikita Dragon stuff. Because I'm just really appalled and disappointed. Do I need to explain the whole thing? I have been filming and refilming this all day. Because the deeper I think about it, the more angry I get. Yes, ma'am. This is Tatcha Kisu. There is, mm -mm. there is something very Trump publican, and I don't like it. So I'm gonna speak out against it. If you don't know what's going on with Nikita Dragon and her new music video, then you will need to go to a different video. I was going to explain all of it, but I'm like, you know what? Let me just get down to tax bra brass brax tax. How do you say that phrase? Okay. So if you know, you know, if you don't just there's YouTube videos that'll help you know, actually, we're going to watch clips from YouTube videos that will help you now. Okay? So, Asian Doll is one of the people that Nikita put in her video to symbolize, oh, this is one of the girls who copy me. Asian Doll clops back with this. Skin darker with makeup. Truth be told, you want to be a Before you got on the table, you was an Asian boy ass big like a black girl you wear lace fronts sorry she here said, we go Nikita will get dragged by that bald head of his don't play with me then she says you shake your cardboard ass too is an african-american you literally dress like a black girl you wanted your ass big like a black girl you wear lace fronts and black girls started that trend you got lip fillers because you wanted big lips like a black girl bitch please before you got on the table you was an asian boy you got off that table looking like a black girl you even make your skin darker with makeup truth be told you want to be a black girl so then of course now she ain't lie in this all caps thing, Nikita has a history of trying to look like a black girl. Okay. Um, the first thing that instantly, there's two things wrong. There's, there's one thing that is wrong because I think it's dumb. And there's another thing that's wrong because it's pure bigotry. Let's start with the, let's start with the lesser evil. So Asian doll is just annoyed because she feels like, how are you going to say, how are you, Asian Nikita Dragon, going to say I'm copying you when actually you are copying me? You want to look like me, a black woman. But then I'm just like, how are you going to say that when your name is Asian doll? Do you know who Asian Doll is? It's okay if you don't know her. She ain't popping like that. People know her. People in the hip hop know who she is. But outside of that, you wouldn't know her. This is who she is. When I first found out about her, I was trying to figure out why is her name Asian? She's not part Asian or anything like that. I thought maybe she just really likes Asian culture. You know, I saw like stuff like this. I thought, oh, maybe she thinks... This is an Asian thing. Everybody all over the world does this. Peace, indoor V for victory. It's not, an, it's not an Asian thing. So already I was like, your name is dumb. 
When you look at this woman, you see full black woman. Not even, not even, it's not even like, are you mixed with something? You know what I mean? It's like, it's a, this looks like a fully black woman. This is unambiguous. So I just brushed it off. I just figured, okay, I don't know. Maybe she's just whatever. And then someone said, oh, her name is Asian doll because of her eyes. I'm like, what do you mean her eyes? They said, she thinks her eyes look Asian. I'm like, hold up, hold up, hold on. This black woman thinks she has Asian eyes? No, she just thinks they look like Asian eyes. I'm like, hold up, let me, why is this not loading? Yeah, my computer's slow when I have this OBS software on it. Okay, whatever. Okay, here we go. Let's zoom. I'm like, she thinks she look Asian? No, it's just her eyes. I'm like, okay, literally just the eyes. Let's zoom. I'm trying to zoom in so you can examine the eyes. Um, her eyes don't look Asian. Them's look like almond shaped eyes, which a lot of black people have. I have, I me, I have almond shaped eyes. I have never in my life mistaken my eyes for Asian. I've had, um, I've had a dude here or there ask me if I'm part Asian because of my eyes. Um, funny enough, there are always dudes who aren't black. <laughs> Meaning they're dudes who probably aren't in proximity to black people. So they're just not used to the idea that black people have almond shaped eyes. And also my, my name Udoka, people think it's Asian. Oh, that's my cat. People think my name is Asian. So they start like over Asian affying my face. Um, her, she looks like a regular ass black person to me. I'm sorry. Her eyes don't look Asian. And so I just felt like I don't, I, I just, it doesn't compute. Do you want to be Asian? Do, do you wish your eyes were Asian? Do you, it just doesn't compute that you made your name Asian doll off of eyes. You have diluted what it means to be Asian to one feature, which is your blickety black people eyes, which don't even look Asian. So you trying to, like, I think she's just trying to like, trying to play like, I'm not, cause you know, you know that, if you are racially ambiguous, you can kind of get ahead in the music industry. You can get more attention. I think this is just her way to get attention. Like, I think she knows she black, but if she say, well, I'm Asian. Oh, what's Asian about you? Look at my eyes. You know what I mean? Like, I think this is just kind of a tactic to get more attention, but it's offensive. I think that's very offensive. You're diluting a whole race of people to features of yourself that aren't even of those people. And you're just using a whole other race that you have nothing to do with uh, for your come up. So you of all people finna be mad at an Asian person for trying to look like you when you are trying to look like them. I just thought that was stupid. Okay. I'm so sorry. That's, it's just so stupid to me. It's so stupid. But then I realized something even worse. By the way, the fact that her name is Asian doll, you already know her mindset. Get ready. You already know her mindset. She said Nikita will get dragged by that bald head of his. She's misgendering Nikita. That's not a typo. That's not a one-off comment. She did it several times. She went on a Twitter rampage. 
if responding to other people's tweets that called called her a her, she would respond and put he asterisk. So she's misgendering him and trying to insult him. Um, there's a tweet where she says, I love transgender and they love me. I don't know where she says it at. She says, I love transgender and, and they love me, but that boy is disrespecting me. Bitch, I'm so I'm not sorry. You can't pull that card. That's like, a, I have a lot of black friends. African Americans love me and I love them. Hello. The Trump publicanness of the black community is so obvious. Let me not get, let, let me not get into a political ranch right now. Let me not get, let me not do it. But you can't say, I love transgender people, they love me, and then misgender a trans person in the same sentence. You are transphobic. She said, a trans person never disrespected me before, which confirms my suspicion. This is what I suspect of an of, uh, Asian doll. It's like, um, it's like, it's like a know your place type of thing. You get what I'm saying? If you're black, maybe you've experienced this. Have you ever like just experienced somebody who had disdain towards you because you because you had you have confidence in yourself and they just can't believe that someone of your skin color can feel like you're better at something than this person based off nothing else but your skin color just let me know if you've experienced it. So maybe you're watching this and you never experienced it, but if you know, you know. And that's what this is giving me. She just couldn't believe that a transgendered woman would have the audacity to feel like she is prettier than me, has better style than me. She just can't believe it. Asian Doll is a rapper, y'all. She's a rapper. In rap culture, you roast each other. You diss each other. You call out each other. There's a lot of disrespect in the rap culture. That's part of the culture. As a female rapper, I'm sure she's dealt with a lot of disrespect. And I'm sure... She handles it the way that you handle it in rap. If it was any other woman saying, <laughs> Agent Doll copy off me, she wouldn't, she wouldn't try to find the most bigoted way to insult her. She would insult her the way you typically insult. Nah, trick, I wouldn't copy off you, you ugly as hell. Like the basic. It's because it's the trans woman who has the audacity to forget her place. How dare she compare me to her? How dare I be compared to a trans woman? They forgot their place. I need to let them know. Actually, H-E asterisk. My name is Asian Doll, but... You can't say I'm trying to copy you because you're trying to copy me, even though I also wish I was Asian. This is the vibe I'm getting. I'm sorry. It's so fucking stupid to me. 
Um, and I have zero, I have negative percent respect for this person. Um, God bless you. So <laughs> I'm like, maybe I can move on. You know, I was doing research on this so I can discuss the topic in detail. But then I hear, I see something like this. <clears throat> Where'd it go? Social media, folks were going back and forth with her. And then she went on there and she wrote, I got the straights mad, mad. So she was loving this attention. So then at that point, you know, it just caused a huge debate on social media. And people started coming at Asian Doll and saying that she was transphobic. Even if you Google her name with Nikita Dragon, all of the major publications like Complex, HotNewHipHop.com, they're basically saying that Asian Doll is transphobic. She didn't end up deleting that tweet, but it's very interesting how all these hip hop outlets are so quick to call her transphobic, but nobody's calling out Nikita Dragon on her bullshit. So it caused. What is Nikita Dragon's bullshit? Miss Wanna Be Asian Doll is misgendering Nikita out of transphobia that she can't believe a trans woman's being compared to her. And it's the most insulting thing that she could think of to, to, to a trans woman. Nikita, Nikita has said, I think trans women are prettier than cisgendered women. Who cares? I don't, I literally do not care that Nikita thinks trans women are prettier. I don't care. I think it's dumb. I was going to do a whole segment on how dumb that phrase is because Nikita got plastic surgery and Saweetie also got plastic surgery and their bodies look the same and whatever. But whatever. Nikita said black gays, black trans contributed to the community. She said, I don't know. She said a whole bunch of stuff that is not a big deal. And uh, she also said stuff that's actually true. Trans people do get just for being trans, trans. <clears throat> um, so what bullshit, like, I'm just wondering what did Nikita say that's even anywhere close to as offensive and problematic as want to be Asian doll as a lot of conversation online. That's a topic she might want to be careful with. You know, Nikita's transgender. So Jess Alira says, you see your comment though? Why can they do and say whatever the fuck they want to say? But everybody else has to be careful when mentioning them. Fuck out of here. They people just like. This is a Trumplican, Trumplican mentality. Listen, I know all these people didn't vote for Trump. There's some mentality that they have that I call Trumplican. Um, why can a certain group say what they want to say, but I have to be careful? Doesn't that rhetoric sound familiar? Here's the thing. Transgendered women are not saying whatever the F they want to say. And you don't have to be careful. <clears throat> you just have to not be a bigot. It's not hard. You don't have to be careful. It's like the people are like, oh my gosh, all these pronouns. It's just too confusing. It's, it's actually not confusing. You've been using pronouns all of your life. And you live in a world today where there's somebody, there's some people who have a pronoun that they might prefer more. So if they tell you what it is, you just say that, you can just say that. Or in the case of Nikita, they obviously appear to be a woman. So just refer to them as a woman. It's not, it's, it's like, no, we have to be so careful today. It's like Joe Rogan. Oh my gosh. It's going to get to the point where if you're a cis het white man, you don't have a voice. Meanwhile, he has a podcast that he was paid millions of dollars to produce on Spotify, but we don't have a, us white men don't have a voice. It's, it drives me insane. It drives me insane. It drives me insane. Let me just go ahead and get into this rant. 
black people are conservative. Black women are conservative. But most of y'all voted for Joe Biden. So what has happened in this country is that the power at B, the power at B, the power that B, continue to ignore the sins of the past. They continue to ignore repairing such sins of the past. So people are voting knowing that they just have to try to get the best that they can get. If this country repaired those sins of the past, those racial sins of the past, if this country were to ever repair them, which I don't believe it ever will, but who knows? God Allah is in control. Okay, I don't know. If it ever were to happen, all these black people conservative, you'll get their vote. You just got to stop being overtly racist and white supremacist. <laughs> you just got to like show that you're not anti-black. You will, you will get black people because black people are conservative and it's effed up that black people are synonymous to leftism or liberalism. They dangle us like a freaking totem. A black woman says something that's slightly conservative. Oh my gosh, liberals, you're not going to tell this black woman she's wrong, are you? She's a black woman. Do you know, I want somebody to make a compilation of the number of times non-black people have mentioned black women as a way to virtue signal against the other political side. They do this on the left and they do it even more on the right. It's disgusting. Why are black people a symbol or a totem for liberalism? When if you ever just paid attention to black culture or listen to the concerns of a black community, they're concerned about things that are very conservative talking points. They, they're concerned about family unit. They're concerned about winning in capitalism. They're concerned about Christian morals. They're concerned about things that conservatives are concerned with, but because this country loves to fetishize our freaking skin color, they don't give a damn. They don't listen to us. They don't care. And it annoys me. Because what this also means is that we're commodified. Anything that has black women outrage, just watch it. Just watch it. Watch. Keep your eye on it. BLM. Like the organization. Not, not the hashtag, not the concept, the literal organization. I can't breathe. Kevin Samuels. People monetize their lives off of black woman outrage. Actually, Nikita Dragon does the same thing. But this video would go on forever if I tried to dissect that right now. I just had to let that off my chest because when I see transphobia and transphobic rhetoric and bigoted rhetoric like this, it just reminds me, it just reminds me of this charade that we're being forced to be a part of. So, okay. Lovely T is equating Whatever Nikita is saying, trans women are the most beautiful creatures on to walk the earth, equating that to being transphobic. And then people are saying that Nikita is outing Tyga dollar sign for showing that he was in her DMs. You can show who's in your DMs. That's not outing. That's not outing anybody. First of all, he's been outed 
long, long before by multiple different people. He's been outed. But y'all are not going to sit here and, and say Nikita Dragon outed him because she said he was in the DMs. If he's in the DMs, he's in the DMs. You don't have to keep your DMs a secret. Okay. And then this guy. Listen to him. I couldn't believe when he said this. Transgenderness and use it to expose men and then feel some type of way when people call you a man. You do not get to expose straight men for talking to you and then be upset when someone misgenders you. Because the whole reason why you're exposing him is because you believe that you're a man sleeping with a straight man. This is the only reason why you're exposing this. If you felt like a woman, if you felt like a real woman, you would not be exposing a man for being interested in you. This is Armand Wiggins. He's part of the LGBT and he sounds like, um, he sounds like, a one of them who think respectability politics works. Hint, it doesn't work. But I was like, oh my God, I can't believe he said that. Because first of all, women do that all the time. If a dude is dissing you or your girls or your group and he slides in your DMs, you expose him. That's, that's like girl law. <laughs> but yeah, if a dude want to say Something, I don't date black girls. I think dark skins are ugly. Oh, that chick is ugly anyway. It's so easy to be like, then why are you in my DMs? Look, he in my DMs. Look, he has, he said, W-Y-D. That is what, that's what women do. I don't believe. <laughs> Maybe he knows something I don't know. You know, maybe there's some secret way of thinking that I'm not privy to since I'm not in that community. But as a woman looking at it, it looks like the type of behavior that a woman would do, which is if there's a group of people who have kind of made it known that I'm supposed to be undesirable. I'm going to show that actually you find me desirable. It, we live in a world that still values the male gaze. And a woman's worth is still dependent on her desirability to cishet men. Nikita is playing into that. She's trying to show that trans women are desirable to, to men and men who appear to be cishet. She's doing that because we still see women in that way. We have a higher value for women who are deemed desirable by men. She is a trans woman. Like this is part of the gender role. This is part. <laughs> now this is my perspective as a woman. Maybe he knows something else. I don't know. He might have some insights. I may be missing or blind to. But on face value, I hate what he said. I did subscribe to him because I want to. I want to see more of his opinion. I like how he talks. He seems like a cool guy. I even said, you know, woohoo before I heard that part. But it sounds like respectability politics because he at some point says a trans women who do this is sending the trans community back. Um, yeah, just like black men who shoot other black men you're setting the community back. You're making us look bad. Black women who wear their hair bonnet out in the open. You're, ma you're making us look bad. You're setting us back. If you have to be on your best behavior 
to feel like you're getting somewhere with acceptance, then you miss the boat. You miss the boat that said they don't like you. They ain't never going to like you. It's like when Blair White went on that one show. Hold on. She was debating conservatives. Conservatives. If you don't know Blair White, she's a trans woman. This is her. She's Republican. She's conservative. And this lady, Lauren, is so anti-LGBT that I I was like, I didn't even know there was anybody under the age of 60 that existed like this. Um, and basically the whole time, sh- this Lauren lady was like, Blair, if you want to help the Republican Party, the best thing for you to do is stop posting YouTube videos and grow a mustache. Okay, she was so transphobic. And Blair was very graceful. Blair was basically ignoring her or she was just very graceful, right? And I'm sure Blair was like, yeah, this is the best response because it makes me look good. But baby, that is what a lot of people in your party think. They think you shouldn't exist. There's no respectability politics. There's no way to good behavior your way into their good graces. They think your mere existence is a sin and should be destroyed. Duh. So when I see dudes like this talking about uh, such and such behavior sets the trans community back. We have to stop if you If you feel that you have to be on your best behavior, then you've already missed the boat that said they don't even want you to exist at all. Okay, I've been talking for 30 minutes. I need to drink water. I need to take a nap. I need to enjoy my Friday. I just, I have been working on this Nikita video all day. And the more I worked on it, and the more I saw how many people were just so apologetic to the transphobia and the apologetics, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Whatever, whatever, um, whatever. Here, this is the end of the video. Um, let me know what you think. I don't know. I, I, I literally don't know. Just let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate you being with me. You could have watched any other video and you chose mine. Um, if you liked it, like it. Um, uh, literally, I don't know. What do I usually say when I end a video? I usually say, um, much love, much luck. Peace. Ah.